Hey, welcome back to the Psy Goggle and Jack channel. Let's take a look at the Pioneer X. This is a Swiss champ, an explorer, a climber, which is very similar to the Super Tinker, and a compact. The Pioneer X is very similar in size to the climber. There are no tools on the back and these ALOC scales don't have any scale tools. So there's no tweezers and there's no toothpick on this one. It does have a lanyard ring that has lint on it right now. <laughs> it has the usual opening layer and the screwdriver has that great half stop. And this really strong half stop is due to a little milled out area in the back of the blade there and a little bit of a hook on this back spring. So when you open it up, it has a really positive lockup on that. So a very secure fit and you can really crank down and get some leverage on that. In the opening layer, as you probably already know, has a screwdriver cap lifter and this little wire stripper uh, wire bender. And the other one is the can opener and a smaller screwdriver. That works on a lot of uh, Phillips heads as well. You get a main spear point blade that is really thin and slicey and razor sharp from the factory. There's the tang stamp. Nothing on the back. A little sharpening troil. And the walk and talk on a Victorinox is usually pretty good. No half stop on that. You also get a a different shape to all than you do on a lot of others. It's a little bit sharp. You could sharpen it and get uh, a little more, uh, but it's just more of a punch. It's not a sewing awl. There's no uh, hole in it for a thread. There's that chisel ground edge. Not as sharp as the blade, but still sharp enough. Good enough to open a package with. And that would be the main reason I would use that blade is for opening up packages. No half stop on that either. And then of course you get Victorinox's scissors and they are just consistently good on every knife that I've experienced from them. Very good scissors. It is a little difficult to get in there uh, unless you've got some fingernails and get that out, but not bad. The Pioneer X is 3.7 ounces and it's one of the 93 millimeters and that's 3.7 inches. It has the large blade, scissors, reamer, punch, can opener, a three millimeter screwdriver, bottle opener, wire stripper, five millimeter screwdriver, and a key ring. So what you're getting with the Pioneer X is a nice, slim, uh, three-layer knife that is missing the scale tools, uh, missing the tools on the back, but you're getting a unique design, and this Alox is uh, undoubtedly more durable than the more traditional uh, covers that come on these knives. You can see how scratched up this climber is. I'll be doing a video where I put plus scales on this. This is my wife's. So definitely not the traditional Swiss Army knife, but a very good knife, a great EDC knife. And if you compare it to something like the Compact, which uh, is not too dissimilar, and it's only a two-layer knife, and they're just about the same width. Uh, but you get a few more functions out of this. 
but they are similar in, um, in width and uh, you get a lot with this knife. So this would not make a bad choice for an everyday carry knife. Uh, my preference would be the Explorer or the Swiss Champ, but not many people are going to carry the Swiss Champ. <laughs> uh, they might throw it in a bag, and right now I'm carrying this in a bag and carrying the Compact. Uh, so this might be a good compromise. Uh, the Explorer is, makes a great everyday carry knife, and it's probably a better choice for most people because you get a real three-dimensional Phillips head. And I find the magnifying glass very helpful. Uh, looking at tang stamps on old knives, so if you're into old pocket knives, this is helpful. Or if you're into fountain pens, checking out the nib, or just anything that you want to get a close-up view of, really helpful. I didn't think it would be, but after I carried one, I really like it. And the Climber, or the Super Tinker, whichever one uh, you prefer. Super Tinker has a three-dimensional screwdriver here instead of the corkscrew, but I like the corkscrew because you get to uh, carry the micro screwdriver, which is really handy for eyeglasses. Uh, but this is a good choice too. And I've done a video on all of these now. And I will do a video soon on putting plus scales on this. Okay, well, thank you for joining. Catch you on the next one. Bye.